Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Hope you are well. We are going into our next phase for our Hokusai stylization. And we are taking Hokusai influences and we're going to create our waves. We're going to, we're going to create that huge wave and Mount Fuji in the, in the, in the back, uh, Mount Fuji, sorry, in the background. Um, and so, Mount Fuji, Mount Fuji in the background. And so what we're going to do is think about Japanese elements. And one of them is the actual flag of Japan is what comes to mind, the, the land of the rising sun. So this sun is depicted as a, as a deep red sun. But in our palette, the closest I've got here is this kind of peach color, slightly uh, this peach. Now, again, this is stylization. This is the closest I've got to my red. In my original palette, I had a much deeper red like that. So if I don't have it, I mean, I could... I can bend the rules slightly. We don't have to be fixed by absolute rules here. But I know that FA4825 here is going to be um, a good stylization, okay? Because I've just pulled it out slightly just to help us along. So in my stylization here, I've got, uh, an, I've got a different complementary kind of shade on the outside just to sort of border it. The reason I did this is because when I made it originally, having just a flat disc in there like the flag of Japan... It didn't really suit what I wanted in my picture, okay? So this is sort of artwork. What we can do is we can add our own sort of flavours and styles to it. And so one of these is just a very simple sort of board. And the reason I did that is what will become clear later on when I go to add my wave as a thing that I've done with it that matches this, um, this disc, okay? So it's going to be the closest we've got to uh, my sun here, my hex colour. So let's go into my hex, which was FA4825. Let's go into my workbook here, and I can go and duplicate this slide. So I've got this kept, and I'm going to duplicate it because I want my um, I want my background okay kept. So I'm going to go and duplicate it okay in my workbook in my scrapbook. OK, here it's going to duplicate it and then I can go and put my single shape over the top of it. OK, like that. Let's go and add a shape. I want to go and add a circle. If I hold down shift, it'll keep it nice and balanced. And then here, if we look at the thumbnail in the bottom corner, we can see uh, where this is. You can see that this is going to give us an overall view. Now, the reason this is important is because inside my stylization, my, the next thing I want is my composition and, and balance. I need a nice balance to my artwork. I don't just want to go and, and stick it anywhere, higgledy-piggledy. So F8425 was my color. I've got my custom in here, F8425. Now, let's go and double check my color. FA4825. 4825 is 4825. 4825. 4825. There we are. Oh, it's quite, actually quite a good color. Now, my shade here inside this for my backdrop is both sort of thin and non-existent really on that page but you can see that the color is actually quite nice and complementary okay so i'm going to go to my my outline here and i'm going to go and choose this and it matches it now the reason i'm going to do that is because when i go into my custom it keeps it fa45 it keeps that color what i might do is just i might make it lighter because i've got a dark color there already and I'm going to go and make it more sort of peach, okay, like that. Now, it's going to be hard to see. Inside slides, I have my border weight here. This is, this is my border color, and this is my border weight. So I might, because of the size of the page, I might go to 12 and see what it looks like at 12 pixels. Let's see what that looks like. That's actually all right. I, you can, it's up to you. You don't have to be um, at 12. 
you might want to keep it at, you might want to put it to 16 because look look at your thumbnail down here you can see that in the thumbnail it's got a nice color about it i feel okay using my palette now if you've got squares and as, as your backdrop try it with a square try it with a triangle you might be you might be pleasantly surprised to see what it looks like okay so this balance here, so I want, it the I want it to the east because it is the land of the rising sun. And then I can go and put my waves or what have you down here somewhere. Okay. So let's go and have a go at that using your color palette as your guide. Remember, you can sort of cheat. You could go into color Adobe again, just have a, just a little sort of nudge away from this um, and see what it looks like. OK, so we're going to end up with some Japanese elements in your scrapbook. Duplicate your page, drop a, a sun in there. However, you however style, whatever style it is that it looks like, OK, whatever style that you've got going on, triangles, squares, um, you name it. Good luck.